First up, some facts about the prees. And, for the return, make a cup of tea, put your feet up and enjoy the cruise. Prees Junction veers south from the Flangotten Canal, five miles past Whitchurch. The Prees branch, also known as the Edsterston branch, is now less than a mile long, terminating at Wixall Marina. Originally, it was intended to run six miles to the village of Prees, but it was only developed the four miles as far as the delightfully named Quinner Brook. In 1806, when it was decided to take the canal no further, lime kilns were built in Quinner Brook. Lime was an important commodity for agriculture before the days of chemical fertilisers and was often transported by canal. The tiny village of Quinner Brook once boasted three wharves and two pubs. Almond's Bridge is the first of three bridges between here and the marina. This is short but very sweet. No roads or railway lines, a few buildings, just birdsong and the noise of the occasional boat engine. Here comes the second and the last of the lift bridges. Despite only having three bridges, this one is quite unusual. It's a skew bridge, which means that it wasn't built at 90 degrees to the canal. William Jessop, the senior engineer on the Ellesmere Canal, invented skew bridges, the first of which were used on the Rochdale Canal. Two cyclists arrived just too late to cross the bridge. Actually, I suspect they were glad of the break. We stopped and chatted for quite a while. Kathy took her boat through and tied up to lower the bridge, while I tried to squeeze through an unfeasibly small space. The building of Wixall Marina was proposed in the 1970s on the site of an old puddle clay pit. The clay had been extracted to line the canals with, so the first mile of this wonderfully rural canal was dredged so that the marina could be accessed. We moored just before the marina. Past the marina, 
some of the canal is still in water, but not navigable, and is now a nature reserve and site of scientific special interest for some of the rare wildlife which enjoy the rural tranquillity. Some of the old towpath is still accessible. These shepherd's huts would make a lovely weekend getaway and can be rented from the marina. There's a profusion of lily pads on Llangollen. Mooring below Bridge 3 isn't really possible unless you tie up opposite the marina, but north of the bridge there are plenty of spaces for a quiet overnight stop. Enough of my chit chat, just enjoy the cruise now. We are right on the edge of Wixell Moss, so the surrounding countryside, which was once bogland, is extremely flat. I drift in slowly on the offside to access the winding mechanism. In case you're wondering, I sometimes leave a sea hook attached to the bow line just to make mooring on the armco a lot quicker.
Llangollen main line is up ahead, so it's a turn to port for Ellesmere. Once again, thanks for watching. It will help my channel if you hit the like button. Please subscribe and tap the notification bell. And comments and questions are most welcome. See you soon.